Overlord here. If you're wondering why this sounds different from my previous work, I used to have my audio produced externally, but that arrangement became inoperable a year ago. I've had to do everything myself ever since. I have built this channel by analyzing Denuvo's impact on performance and loading times, and this video is my return to these roots. Over the last couple of years, several games have had their Denuvo protection bypassed or officially removed, which presented opportunities to analyze its impact on users. I tested the performance of these games before and after the removal, and this video is a compilation of the results. These are the games tested in this video. Before I get into my results, let's talk about the methodology used in my tests. I use the game's internal benchmark if one's available, since it's the easiest and most reliable way to create an identical load across the protected and unprotected builds. I tested the protected and unprotected builds on identical settings on the same hardware on the same day to ensure there was no difference in drivers or Windows updates. However, not all games were tested on the same drivers or on the same hardware. For example, Company of Heroes 3 was not tested on the same hardware that tested the Tomb Raider sequels. If you'd like to support content like this, consider becoming a patron. Without further ado, let's get into the results beginning with Company of Heroes 3. You would tire of listening to numbers, so I'll just show you the results of my tests. why Tokyo is up next. to Immortals of Avium. on to Borderlands 3. Eternal. Dying Light 2 
is next. Next up lies of P. Moving on to Ace Combat 7. on to Rise of the Tomb Raider.
Next up, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. concludes this analysis of Denuvo's impact on performance and loading times. If you liked this video, please share it. Going forward, I will upload videos on another channel, so please subscribe to it and set the bell to all notifications if you'd like to continue watching my work. Also follow me on Twitter if you're on it.